All right, ready? Oh. Oops. Are you ready to go? No, I'm not. I'm really seriously not ready for anything. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Scott Barnes TV. We are here and it's very exciting. Why? Because we're gonna recreate Ramona. Yes, Frank and I did the movie and I'm also here with Frank Colasso. Hi everyone. Amazing hairstylist and partner. And Wendy. Hi. <laughs> She's my JLo for today. You know, everybody calls her, she actually, her handle on Instagram is Wenlo. So it's like JLo, but with a Wendy and a Wenlo, yes. it's Wenlo. So you'll be able to remember it. Go check her out. Um, she's actually a client and a friend. So uh, we're here and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the film that we did called Hustlers. I don't know if y'all can see this, but and then the light's blowing it out. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit about continuity books. Okay. And this is Jennifer. This is our actual continuity book from the film. We created that on film, right, Scott? Yeah. While we're doing the movie. And what you do is you take really great notes, right? And if you see here, like I did tattoos, so we have to do tattoo placement because it's got to be the same in every single scene, day after day. Sometimes you're meeting up scenes, so it gets a little confusing, so you got to take really good notes. And that's what I do. We take really good notes. Scott, what I think people don't realize when you shoot a film is that you may shoot scene one today and then you may have to shoot like scene two like three weeks later. So you need to know what scene one looked like to copy that look for scene two. We shot the beginning of the film almost the last day of the film. So it's really strange because you're trying to build a character and, and it's like, okay, you know, that whole dance scene that Jennifer did, we almost did it at the end of the film. Like, look at how amazing she looks here, right? This was... That's kind of like a diary that we created so we could go back to it and refer to it. it. Or in case, for some reason, you have to do reshoots. And if they call for a reshoot day or they want to change the ending of a film and you got to match things up, you don't want people to go, oh, okay, that's... Uh, that the looks hair like, looked different. That's a drop-in, you know, like... Um, I think the makeup looked different. There was a movie called Legally Blonde that that <laughs> happened in. It was like, I think they re-recorded the ending and Reese Witherspoon came back with this crazy wig on. And, it, and it's, you could tell, but that's the kind of stuff that you have to avoid. So if you're good at your craft, uh, you make sure that you don't notice where things start to stop, right? So I'm going to help you guys by showing you how to, we're going to recreate Mona, Ramona, the character. If you look here and what I do with a lot of like, when I do any kind of um, notes is that I'll take several images. So here's a front image. There's a side image. We also take for jewelry, for clothing. So the whole departments all share kind of images sometimes. Oh, did you get a picture of the jewelry? Did you get a picture of, of you know, the back of her head? Did you, what are we doing, you know? Same thing here. There's the top of the bang so we can really see what, what the bangs look like. Jennifer's clothing. It's all really beautiful. Um, so this gives you an idea of how to build things, right? And you see as the film progresses too, that the hair changes, the makeup changes. She kind of gets a little tougher throughout the film because it's not, the character it starts kind of going on a downward spiral a little well, bit. It was over what, like it was over a four year um, span? Yeah. So we kept jumping from 2011 to 2007. Nine. And it was like seven. I remember a lot of 2007, 2011. So let's talk about what was going on in 2010, 2011, 2012. Eyebrows were really skinny. So here I'm doing a movie with somebody we have full eyebrows and full eyebrows are, you know, in style right now, right? So last thing I want to do is pluck your eyebrows out. We got to start creating the illusion that the eyebrows are much narrower so you can create the look of that era, you know? That's an important thing. Now, when it came to hair, you know, Frank and I sat there and Frank was like throwing all these like kind of references at me. It was like, you know... He loves a blonde, so he's, you know, throwing, <laughs> right? You're like, he loves doing blonde hair. So he's throwing uh, Pamela Anderson at me. He's throwing, and then we started going in a little deeper. We started looking at people like... Janine. Janine. She right? was a very famous pawn star back in the day. Right. In that time, actually, in period, that she time was on the period. Blink 182 cover. She was the nurse, you know, putting on the glove. I mean, Janine was stunning for somebody that was an adult oh. film. Like so much research went into this, like just trying to figure out, you know, how she should look. 
But Janine did all that dark underneath the hair. Well, that like, was kind of what going on. You know, that was kind of when that balayage craze started too. So everyone kind of had like chunky kind of streaks and the hair. And like, like Sally Hershberger was doing a lot of that too. Right, and I think back then, and I think back then too, like it was new, so it was a lot of people that weren't doing it that great. So Ramona, we kind of made her to be this kind of character that she was just really into getting her hair blown out she was this woman that was sexy. had it was sexy she had really good hair maybe it was a little curly and she used to straighten it out with the blowout but we made it all about her having this fabulous blowout and kind of going blonder with the times you know like her her balayage kind of got a little bit blonde a little bit chunkier as the um, years went by it's funny because when we finish a movie and frank and i finished this movie we packed up our trailer in new york and we sent everything back to los angeles so there, it's funny because it was like that there was a box and it said Ramona on the side and it's like all, everything that had to do with Ramona, the hair extensions, the pieces, Hi. just in case. Grab yeah, grab the Ramona hair. So right. just in case we had to do a the reshape hair, for uh, any reason. So it was all the dark, here. I'm just calling it all the layers. <laughs> all the pieces for the you top. Know, the, the tattoos, face. like all of it. And so, you know, and I have, it's funny, all of Ramona's tattoos, her diamond tattoo. Her daughter's tattoo, which her name was Juliet in the film, but you never really see the tattoo of her wrist. But it was there because what's really important for us as artists is to create an environment for the actor or the actress to to become, to inhabit this thing. And it's it's an everyday occurrence. We wake up and it's, hey, Ramona, what's going on? We're going to have a great day. We're sliding down poles today. <laughs> you know, we're taking down, <laughs> taking down, you know, Wall Streeters today. In order for Jennifer, who's such, I mean, her role in this was amazing and her performance was stellar. I mean, to, to say the least. And everybody's acknowledging this. And it's because it's great. And uh, honestly. But it's also too, Scott, because the character we created, she lived in that moment because she felt him. And that's what you're saying. Like, it was important it's to important have the tattoo, support. even though you didn't really see it that much. She had to become that character to, to really be able to um, perform. Yeah. Like Jennifer, she, she um, as Ramona, carried a lighter around all time and it was like her nervous thing where she would just you know when she Ramona was, smoked cigarettes <laughs> smoking crazy cigarettes and lighting lighters you know lighting this lighter all the time so it's like all these things help to build a safe environment for that person to be able to inhabit that where we're like yeah this is Ramona it's not you know and it was amazing because when you'd watch these things and it's it's like you know when you know when you know you know I'm watching this we're standing on the side and I'm going in in between each take and you got goosebumps because the performance is so there. Like we she knew something was happening. It, right? I, I wow. would say something is happening here. Some, <laughs> something major is happening here. You could feel it, and it's electricity, and it's and it was uh, like again, Jennifer's performance brought the whole thing to life, and she was really as supporting actress was the glue that held the whole film together. She was really the ringleader. She was, you know, she was Ramona, and she inhabited that character amazing. So I'm going to show you guys, and Frank's going to show you how we created Ramona here on Scott Barnes TV. You're watching it go down for real. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with a little bit of contouring, you know, and I'm gonna just contour around the forehead. Do you normally start at the forehead? Yeah. <laughs> Why so? Um, I just think it's a, you know, I just start to frame the face up as much as possible. Okay. And I just lay it in. It's nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Yes. So I'm going to start off putting the face, the undertone in, the dark color. Oh, you're doing the dark first? Of course. Well, excuse me. I'm doing the dark that. first too. We've got to create all that shadow. The darker the underneath is, the more... The light pops. The, the blonde top. pops and it actually looks longer. We're going to really just kind of build this out a little bit. How do you know what tones to use? Um, I, I just kind of base things on what I want them to pop through. Now, with I'm using all of Jennifer's tones on you because I'm recreating Ramona. <laughs> so it would make sense, right? So that's in order to create this character. And I'm going to really carve this jaw out. And so you normally start with the dark and then you go with the light? Yep. Okay. I usually start with the dark and then I move into the light, Carol Ann. I go right into 
What I used most of the time to create Ramona's hairstyle was I used a two inch barrel. And sometimes I used a one and a half inch if I wanted her to look a little dressier. Like if it was a scene where she was out, I would use a slightly like um, tighter curling iron. But the two inch barrel was my staple throughout the whole film of what I used. But out of all the two inch barrels that are out there, I love the Hot Tools one. I think that's one of the best two inch barrels on the market today. What's great about the Hot Tools stuff is that it doesn't seem like it shuts off so bad. You know, when you forget to, <laughs> to turn your iron off, I mean, I get that <laughs> element of it. Do you? We're gonna go and contour right around here. Look. I know you asked about this. Yes. I know that you love to do big lips. I do, I like lips. And I don't like lips that are like fake and overly pumped up. It looks weird. Right. So what I do is just kind of go on the outer border of the lip mm -hmm. and just kind of fade it out like that. See? One side's really full. Yep. <laughs> All right, full. And then we'll hit the other side. And if you want the middle to look bigger, you just kind of connect the, the bows. You know, that's the, the trick to making lips look full oh. without crazy overlining them. Even if you don't have a cupid bow, like I don't. Yeah, you're just you just round it up. Okay. He's clipping them in. Yes. So when we do a film or we get Jennifer ready, we work on her at the same time. So this is actually what we do every morning. And you know, usually we're there at the trailer at four o'clock in the morning before everybody's even awake. Well, being good at what you do too is when you're working with your client, which at the time is Jennifer. You're trying to make it as comfortable as you can for her. So she's not sitting hours on end getting her makeup done. As much as we love doing it, we think, wow, I want to get my hair makeup done. Someone like Jennifer, that's what she does for her job. It's her job to do that. So it becomes a job and it becomes like, ugh. Like, people don't realize when you're working with people, you know, when you're, to be good at what you do, it's not about doing your job good and producing good work, but it's about also being time conscious. Like, you know, you can do a brilliant job and it can take you five hours, like you'll be out of work. Really, really fast. <laughs> Nobody wants to um, mess with you sitting there for two hours. Right. You know? And especially when you're doing character-driven stuff, it should be quick because you're not doing a photo shoot, like fashion photo shoot. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to get shit done quick. Now in case someone's wondering what I'm doing, I'm just back combing that root a little bit just so the extensions are more secure because they're clip-ons. I put a little bit of hairspray just to kind of set that back combing in. And then I just start working the pieces in. I think what I do that's different than most people is I use lots of small pieces. I don't really like using big, heavy pieces. I think when it moves, it just moves like a big clump of hair. So a lot of the pieces I do use, you'll see here, they're just very tiny, like single pieces. And I'm actually like creating the hairstyle very naturally all around the head with, with lots and lots of pieces. And that's why you'll find when you watch the film, her hair moves so naturally and it just moves and it sways. I don't put a lot of product in. I hate hair that's sticky with tons of hairspray. So I put as very little product as I possibly can in the hair and just use lots of pieces so the hair actually moves like real hair, which I think is part of the challenge. You know, It's not just about making the hair look long or changing the color of it, but actually having the hair move like it's natural hair. This is the cat paw. <laughs> you, know, you know who calls this cat paw? Jennifer. <laughs> it's Jennifer goes, it's like a cat paw yeah. like on your face, you know? It does. It's really cute. Like, so we just always call it the cat paw now. I don't think it really has a name. It's like <laughs> paddle brush or something like that. I don't know. Or to me, it's like, meow, 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 meow. You know, it's like, it's it cute. feels like a cat, cat paw. Right? It's like, it's like a little massage from the cat. Meow, meow. <laughs> well, I'm getting the chills. Why it's happening? <laughs> it's like the, the Ramona is happening. Yeah, like, We're resurrecting like, Ramona. Like Ramona's back. It was such a um, a moment for us two and our family. You know, we were all in New York together. Romeo um, was on independent study, so he came to New York with us. They actually put him in the film. I don't know if you guys saw him, but he's actually in the movie. I did see him. So it was kind of like really close to to our hearts the whole film, and now that it's getting all these awards, it makes it even more special to us. What a great achievement. 
It, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it was, you know what? It's just, I always say, you just do what you do and you be, just try to be your best at it. Yeah. And then the accolades come if it's meant to be. Yeah. You always say, do what you do because you love it. You don't do it for the fame or the success or the financial gains. You do it for the, or for the, the gram. Doing it for the gram. Look at, ooh, girl, she's coming in. She's coming in hot. And it's funny because, you know, this is another thing about film. You got to remember that, like, everything that you do is on a 40-foot screen. Right. So, like, your pores, I see them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you got to be really conscious about how you are applying makeup for a film as opposed to a photo shoot. Photo shoot makeup, you can do less and retouch more. You can create, um, you know, a heavier look or, you know, there's always all that retouching. It's like in film, you got to go frame by frame by frame to clean something up. So you really have to be conscious as a makeup artist about being really good. Yeah. I'm going over this with some foundation. Okay. And your foundation that you're using? I'm using a little bit of Chanel. Oh, right. And I'm using it with my foundation, which is my cream foundation, which is in front of me. And you love cream <laughs> over any other type of foundation. I I like things that move, you know, so I like to move with with foundation. Okay. You'll see it starts really showing us. And I always go down into the neck first. Why? Because the neck and the face should all live in one <laughs> zip code. Zip code. Yes. Yes. <laughs> As I always say, you need to yes. be a family. You always talk about the news anchors that Oh my gosh, yes. they blink and their eyes are white on the top. Yes. I've been guilty of doing that to myself. So what's a good makeup tip to not get it all over your clothes? Like once you have your makeup on? Uh, set it. You know, I always say set it and forget it. Okay. <laughs> That's like one thing. Look at that. It's pretty already. Oh, I feel. I have my Miami tan again. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Miami with that other right yes. <laughs> it's like and it was gloomy and i still came back like tan shades darker. Yes. yes what's your background what are you nicaragüense oh okay yes but born and raised here you were born in los angeles in pasadena wow yes that's amazing so you're a native yes i am we have a native <laughs> so it's all that contouring we did on your nose i'm just patting over it okay. like that see she's there oh my God. You're like, yes, yes queen, I yes. I see, it. I see her. She's mm -hmm. coming to life. So what would you say is the most important tip you can give a makeup artist that's starting to do makeup? I, you know what I always say? Practice makes perfect. If you keep honing in on your craft and figure out what your style is. I just threw my brush on the floor. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Make sure that we are even. And so this Steven. makeup is for movie film mm -hmm. and so it you could do a lighter version of this for your daytime you know what i mean yes. yeah this is, i'm creating the character yes you know this is character driven stuff here big stuff yes important stuff we love it <laughs> and so i just watched a tutorial where you said you started off as an artist i did i'm still a an painter. artist painter correct? I, I still am yes yep. <laughs> and i think that's why your craft is so different from everyone yeah i have a different approach to the way i do makeup yes and I actually really love women. I like making women look beautiful. I think that's an important thing. 